Well, good morning and welcome to Overdy Vest Nurseries. This is where we grow over 2,000 different varieties of outdoor garden plants, ones that have been especially selected for their performance in this region, and ones that are available through a network of hundreds of garden centers right throughout our region. Lots and lots of really good plants, of course. And now, in the autumn time, it's the perfect time for planting them. In fact, it's my favorite time of all for planting. There's lots of reasons why. The first is that the temperature is very nice, so it's good to be outside working on a day like today. Also, the soil is still warm after the summertime. We've had rain, so the soil is nice and moist and easier to dig. And all of those things come together to make the perfect conditions for getting off to a great start for next spring. And as I look along the beds here, I can see lots of really nice panicle hydrangeas. And these are tremendous plants. They're hardy easy to grow, put up with a wide variety of soil types, and also give a long season of colour. So stay with me, because here's a little selection of some of my favourite selections that have been introduced by proven winners. Now the first one I'm going to tell you about is this, probably the most popular variety of hydrangea paniculata, or PGs, as they're sometimes known, that's in our gardens right over our region. This is, of course, hydrangea limelight, a variety that was bred in Boskoop in Holland by the late Peter Zweinberg. This is the one that lights up our gardens when you're driving through neighborhoods in summertime. Comes out first with a lime green colored flower, then goes through to these gorgeous creamy white alabaster white flowers and starts to take on, as you see, a little bit of pink shading going into the autumn. Grows about eight foot high, can be grown as a multi-stem shrub, makes a beautiful hedge, and can also be trained into growing into a little small compact growing tree too. Hardy, reliable, tried and trusted, this is hydrangea limelight, wonderful variety and well worth looking out for. And then there's this one. This is Hydrangea Limelight Prime, a relatively new introduction. This is a little bit more compact growing than the original Limelight. This one gets to about six foot high, carries its flowers on strong, sturdy stems, so it stands up very well to weather conditions. Comes out lime green, then goes through to this creamy white color, but also look now what's happening. You'll see that it's got this gorgeous pink coloring. Flowers a little earlier too, so it will give you a longer display. Shorter, more compact, more colorful, but just as dependable as limelight. Fantastic variety. And then continuing on with the tried and true theme, this is one of the older introductions, but still a terrific variety. This is Hydrangea Little Lime. Compact and bushy, comes out with this very nice lime green, rounded shaped flowers. The plant overall grows into a kind of rounded mound, about three, possibly four, occasionally up to about five foot high, but all the time tidy and neat and compact. And what I like about it is the way that it turns this lovely antique shade of pink as it goes through well into the autumn. And even when the flowers turn brown on this, it still looks good right through the winter time. This is Hydrangea Little Lime, a really terrific variety. Now, if you'd like to get even more information on each of these varieties, can I suggest that you check out some of the other videos that we feature here on this channel? Because over the years, we featured most of these varieties individually, where we go into more depth explaining their various characteristics, giving you ideas and suggestions of where you can plant and enjoy them. And also there's a video that shows you how to prune and care for them too. 
information that we hope will help you be a little bit more successful and enjoy growing these gorgeous plants. Now if you haven't already, I'd like to suggest that you think about clicking and subscribing to this channel because we're busy posting new videos all the time. And the variety that I have here in this part of the nursery is one that I'm really very fond of. It's a variety that was developed in Belgium over 20 years ago. This is Hydrangea Pinky Winky, a fairly strong outward growing variety that gets to about eight to nine foot high. It has these lovely lacy flowers that come out like the others with a white coloration first. But then as the flowers begin to mature and the season goes on, you'll see that it takes on this light pink to red coloration that starts at the base of the flower and then gradually works its way up towards the top to give you this lovely kind of bicolor effect. It's really a fabulous variety, tried and trusted, stood the test of time. This is Hydrangea Pinky Winky. And if you want to get even more color from your hydrangea paniculatas, then you'll probably want to take a look at this variety, which is hydrangea firelight. Now here's one that grows about six to eight foot high. In the summertime, comes out with the same creamy white flowers. It then starts to take on pink shades when we get into cooler evenings, and now, in early autumn, you'll see the whole plant turns this very bright, vivid red. So if you're looking to fire up your beds and borders with lots of really bright color, then this is the variety that you probably want to look at. It's Hydrangea Firelight. Now really, they're all very nice. And I suppose it's not right <laughs> to have a favorite. But I have to say that if I had to choose one of the ones I just featured, then I think it would probably be this one. This is a gorgeous little compact growing one called Firelight Tidbit. Here's one that only grows two to three foot high by about three foot or so wide. Hardy, compact, comes out first with these green, each lime green colored flowers, then turns a lovely creamy white and then takes on this pink shade that lasts all the way through to the frosts. So as you see, there's lots and lots of really good plants that you can grow in your garden and get planted now at this time of year to get off to a great start next spring. This is David Wilson. Enjoy your gardening. It's good for us and it's very good for our environment too.